Alright, let's move on to Razor Claw. Like I said, I'm going to be using this as my G1 Razor Claw Classics guy. Since I don't have any of the Dawn of Futures past figures. Um, so he's, a, he's a, a lion. You can tell that he's a, a lion. Nice Razor Claw colors. Um, he does have an abandoned gimmick, an electronic gimmick. Uh, if you press this, this little symbol here, it opens his mouth. And the original version roared, I believe. Um, yeah. Um, he's got a cyber key gimmick on both of his arms, and as you can see, he's got these little things here. Well, you put in a gimmick that has a key that has a little uh, golden disc part in it, and whoa, he's got claws. It works on both sides. It works a little bit better in the robot mode. Um, transformation is very basic. You pull off the tail, like any Beast Wars figure. Um, you want to rotate the legs down, fold this down, you pull down the heel spur there and uh, do the same for the other side so he's kind of a stand-up transformer but a little bit more complex um, then you want to take and you want to put your finger nail um, there and fold down these and then fold this back down and look he's kind of floppy because look he falls over then you want to take this part here and then you want to rotate it fold the click the arms out rotate it and click those together Hey, he's a robot. We'll rotate that, flip out the thumb. Um, and you don't do that for the other side. And then, last but not least, dramatic head reveal time. Click this up. And then pull this up. And there you have Razor Claw in his robot mode. This is a pretty big toy. I mean... All things considering it's a Voyager, but it's it's a big Voyager. It's like twice the size of Starscream. I mean, twice the size of Ilya 1. Um, now, there's a common misconception here that Razor Claw uses the Leo Prime head. Um, one of the guys from Pump Publications proved, or, uh, said that he did not know about the Leo Prime head, and he's glad he didn't because they put a new head. So, um, those of you who have Leo Prime, because I don't, um, that is a new head. That is a completely new head there. It is very nice. Um, particularly, she's got neck. She's got very heavy ratchet shoulders, so I don't like moving those. She's got elbows. She's got swivel there, and you can move in and out. Legs forward and back, in and out a little bit, and then a knee. And some ankles, so you can get, uh, okay, pros is out of him. Um, some people don't like this mold. I say it's okay. It can also become an arm, but I don't really like making him an arm. I don't really like that idea of a guy becoming an arm. You can hold his tail through the connector point here. Uh, like that. So you have a whip. Okay, it works. Cyber key gimmick still works, so he has... Mm, so he has... Mega Claws of, Do of Doom here, and, um... I really wouldn't like to meet this guy in a dark alley, because look at those claws. He could maul you in robot mode. Um, yeah, oh, uh, nice figure. Um, okay, let's get on to the, the, the rarity of the set. This was the limited edition of 2000, figure, uh, 2000 sets, and, um, and I can't recommend it if you're trying to stick to only the stuff in the Wings of Honor. Um, it was a $79 set, I believe. I'm not sure. Um, it, it was limited to three per package that you could get, and, you know, it was worth the money. Uh, must say, um, if you're going to get this set, if you're just, like, you're only going to get one set from the BotCon set, I would get the next set that I'm going to review. Um, not this set, just, um, just if you're only doing one. Uh, I would get this if you do have the figures from Games of Deception and Dawn of Futures Past, so you can have these to go with your collection. Otherwise, um, if you can only get one set, go check out my next review, because that's going to be coming soon. And I'm out of time for now, so this is Senate saying goodbye.